a warm welcome to the third and the last part of the map work here we are going to mark cities and how do we mark city with the help of a dot and color key for marking city is the red color so here we have to mark this five cities i think we have already covered city alabad yes but we will mark this again alabad was covered in part 1 if i am not wrong so let us start with delhi first so to mark delhi first what you have to understand is the location of nepal so this part okay just come here on the coast of yamuna river okay in front of this region of nepal okay here nepal this is nepal so look at this vertex okay or the corner just in front of the that okay we have our capital of a country capital of india that is delhi right and then mumbai amchi mumbai it is here if you come to west coast so this jerk is a mumbai city with a red dot third is kolkata then chennai and allahabad allahabad let us go line by line kolkata again you see your jerk one triangular jerk okay so just above this triangular jerk is our city kolkata then chennai come to the east coast here is the river krishna and here is the river kaveri so somewhere exactly at the midpoint is a chennai and finally allahabad very important i feel that this question will be asked in the examination this is a yamuna river and ganga river point of intersection both meet where at allahabad so i label this one by one and also i will have a revision okay so we see this nepal at the edge just in front on the coast of yamuna river is our city number 1 or capital of our country that is delhi and mind you all the labeling has to be done in the bold letters only towards the west coast is my second city which is mumbai amchi mumbai then third one is kolkata we have already marked 1 2 and this is third one so here in west bengal okay there is a jerk and this fourth third number is kolkata right then fourth one is chennai and fifth is allahabad here midpoint okay this coast line eastern coast line midpoint of krishna river and kaveri river is my fourth city of chennai now question number 9 distribution of minerals over here we have to show mumbai high they can ask you question as mark mumbai high or even they can uh, say offshore oil field so this mumbai high offshore oil field has to be marked with green color color key is green and symbol will be triang triangle one more field you have to mark that is the coal field which is the jharia color key is black and that you are going to mark with a dot so here next to mumbai in the arabian sea this triangular shape is the mumbai high this is question number question 9th ka first one okay mumbai hi this is offshore oil field right in the arabian sea now next we have to mark coal field that is jharia do you remember when we have marked rivers i have asked you to mark one additional river that is damodar river so if you see this damodar river just above this okay is jharia which is क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन का सेकेंड वन झरिया इन कैपिटल लेटर्स वी विल शो दिस विद द हेल्प ऑफ द एरो अ ब्लैक डॉट 
फॉर अ कोल्ड फील्ड ऑफ झरिया नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू मार्क पॉपुलेशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड डायरेक्शन ऑफ विंड्स फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट with this part that is direction of winds and please bear in your mind keep in your mind that you have to use a regular pencil pencil okay a regular pencil not the colored pencil for direction of winds now there are two winds one is the southwest monsoon winds and other one is the northeast monsoon winds okay so in southwest monsoon winds there are two branches one is the arabian sea branch and another one is the bay of bengal branch let us start with this first one arabian sea branch we all know that this is the arabian sea this part this is bay of bengal and below india is the indian ocean only ocean named after any country that is indian ocean named after our country our motherland that is india so arabian sea branch look here look here carefully and listen to me me carefully because question can be tricky so arabian branch of southwest monsoon wind okay it it emerges here during summer it becomes a hot region over here in the north so low pressure area and water we know specific capacity of water okay is high so water is cold and this is very hot so low pressure area here and high pressure area here so wind will start blowing from here towards the west so arabian sea branch winds emerge here and they start moving here we will show this with the help of three arrows one going in this direction other going in this direction and third one going in this direction now remember that they can ask you to show this wind only by a single arrow in case of this you are going to draw this single arrow if they ask you to draw a single arrow else what are you going to do you will show this with the help of this three arrows so second branch of southwest monsoon that is bay of bengal branch how are we going to draw so this is bay of bengal one arrow here second we will show something like this and the third one here but if they ask you to show this with the help of a single arrow then this middle arrow you are going to show right so here we go okay and single arrow to show the bay of bengal branch of the southwest monsoon please keep all the instructions in your mind and in examination draw accordingly if you want to score full marks in the examination and what kind of pencil you are going to use your regular pencil and not the colored pencil so let us label it 11th a now let us draw northeast monsoon winds this one we already have drawn this two northeast monsoon wind look carefully this region is the northeast region of india so winds are from here okay i am using a brown color you have to use your regular pencil to draw this but to avoid a confusion i am using this brown color right because this maps are this uh, arrows are overlapping right and one arrow here so i have shown five arrows showing north east monsoon winds direction of this winds but if you are asked in the examination to show this with the help of a single arrow then you can draw one single big arrow over here this arrow or else okay they don't mention ki you have to show this with the help of a single arrow then what you can do is you can draw all five arrows or else one single arrow all right so here we have drawn all three i have to label it now this is 11th ka second part okay question number 11 ka second one that is north east monsoon winds in the opposite direction of southwest monsoon winds in bold letters 
नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन दैट इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ पॉपुलेशन the densely populated region we are going to show with the help of dark brown color color ki is dark brown for densely populated area and for sparsely population populated area we are going to use the light brown color and they can ask you a question in this form also mark the densely populated area in the north of india or they can ask you densely populated region in the south of india in south of india densely populated region is this kerala and in north india densely populated region is this gangetic plain which we already have drawn so just show some difference or else everything else will be same including this region of west bengal don't go inside the nepal right so this region so these two regions are densely populated regions what about sparsely populated region for that i'll be using light brown color in north sparsely population region is region of jammu and kashmir state of jammu and kashmir this one okay so i'll show this with the help of light brown color jammu and kashmir this region was in north and now i'm marking that is in north east so read your question carefully and mark accordingly so sparsely populated region of india jammu and kashmir arunachal pradesh nagaland and manipur so this you have to mark but read your question carefully whether they are asking you in north or in northeast if they don't mention anything then show both of them but if they mention northeast then only this region if they mention north then only this region right now here we come to the last map we have to show soil distribution now soil distribution of alluvial soil this is shown by the green color and black soil black soil show will be shown with the help of the black color let us start with black color first black soil the peninsular region especially around this krishna river right narmada river sun betwa and chambal river is a black soil also here right this is a region where you will get black soil black soil is an important question most of the schools pre board paper this question was asked alluvial soil was not a popular question but we will be drawing both okay let me first draw the black soil okay so black soil especially in the peninsular region and this okay it covers mostly the rivers okay so concentrated here below yamuna river ha ah, then all these rivers okay including uh, krishna river completely this is tungabhadra river then gujarat here okay this both the parts right this was black soil now we will show alluvial soil with the help of the green color so alluvial soil in the gangetic plain okay over here okay including assam arunachal pradesh sikkim as i told you alluvial soil is not a popular question in the examination but since we are doing everything we are not going to leave this alluvial soil also right so here 
and from here you have to extend it to this part covering okay wherever black soil is not there that region includes the alluvial soil not only this but eastern coast also this eastern coast also have alluvial soil first one is alluvial soil black colored is black soil so here we have covered the entire map work of semester 2 please go through all the three parts of the video we have concentrated on your syllabus and we have eliminated all the unwanted question so you don't waste your time and if you follow all my instructions properly you are going to get full 10 marks for this map work that is my guarantee finally here i am pravin sonawni and you are watching india's most reliable and relevant educational channel where you get best in class study material and video lectures do check the links in the description box bye